This is a 2007 EOS and uh, another little common problem that these have and this is a problem I struck in this and that is the cruise control intermittently not working. Um, so basically the indicators for me was when you toggle the switch here on the cruise control stall um, sometimes it would come up on the dash and sometimes it wouldn't and then sometimes the cruise would work and then you'd have it working and then halfway down the motorway it would turn off. Um, pretty common problem for these. Um, you can replace the complete stalk, uh, but really uh, it's it's a really simple fix and um, it's a five minute job. So let's just go through that and um, this solved it for me anyway. So what we're going to do is just use a simple, uh, just a little very small screwdriver. Okay, so again, you just um, get your little screwdriver there, you just start up this edge, just gently put your screwdriver in there and twist it slightly and it just pops that trim off. And then from there, you just gently work it off. It's got some clips all the way down, and uh, it should come off pretty easy. And uh, you need to take a few of them off. And that's probably given me enough space, so I might take a couple more. I think that'll be right. But that switch there, uh, that just slides out. And if you gently just slide that out, and the cable here, that just pulls off from here. So you just pull the casing off here. And then we're left with the switch. And let's take that to the bench. Right, so all we need to take it apart, you can see there's two, uh, the, now it's a T9 Torx. So there's one screw there and one screw is there. So we're just going to take them out. Oop. Uh, and we're just going to ease the circuit board which holds the two switches in there on the end here which is on the toggle and also there's a toggle there so if I turn that over there there's two contact points so when you toggle the switch that operates that one there backwards and forwards and it just rolls it across those contact points here so all we're going to do to, uh, to fix the problem is clean those and clean those contact points there with a little bit of alcohol okay so I've got a little bit of alcohol on the cloth there just rub that across there gently uh, and again on the other contact points on the circuit board there and you can see there's a little bit of uh, rubbish coming off there um, now I've done this myself a couple of times now and you know it lasted a few months and then it's come back again so you may just have to keep redoing it um, I've heard it lasting sort of 12 months and then it reoccurring again as I say you can buy a new switch and they're not very expensive, but I just I've opted this way. It's a simple fix. So all we do then is just pop the thing back together. Uh, it's just a matter of lining that back up there and popping that back in. And it's as simple as that. And then we just. Um, reinstall it back in the car and test it. Okay, so all we're going to do is just reconnect it back up here. Uh, and that just simply pushes on. And then we'll just uh, fit that back into there. Just slides back in. It's really quite simple. And then just clip the back back on. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Um, so let's try this. Okay, so let's turn the ignition on. Uh, and when I turn the switch on, you'll see the light come up on the dash off, on, off, on as I say that's normally enough to fix it um, it's a really simple fix um, so give it a go